Welcome to the first episode of Tsugabe. I'm your host, Greg Jagasar, the founder of Zurg Sunjam Community. And here at uh, Tsugabe, we'll be spotlighting the new platforms and innovative products, which will be bringing value to the Sunjam community. Uh, first off, quick reminder, all Sunjam events are on hold until uh, we can safely and legally meet again. Keep your fingers crossed. And it's looking like spring or summer, uh, we will be allowed to meet again. So today, my first guest of Tsugabe is Patrick Kohler. He's the CEO of the brand new Swiss platform called Matchspace, who is connecting music teachers and students in Switzerland. And um, Patrick and his team and I, we all met and we realized very quickly that we share uh, the same vision and purpose, which is connecting people through music. And as many of you know, the Sunjam was created when I arrived in Switzerland. And I recognize the lack of a centralized music community, regardless of people's age, uh, level, and instrument. And Facebook was quite new at the time. I created a Facebook group and uh, began with trying to convince some friends to come play some music at the lake on sunny days. And the attendance and membership doubled pretty much every year. And as of two days ago, we broke the 2,000 member mark. And so now the tribe is 2,000 members. And uh, the family's growing, and it uh, really is a family for those of us who are away from home, like myself. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Patrick Kohler. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you, Greg. Great, great pleasure to be with you and uh, your community today. Thank you, and welcome to the first guest on the first episode of Tsugabe. Many more to come. So why, could you share a few words as to uh, what MatchSpace is, the purpose, and how you came up with the idea? Sure, sure, my pleasure. So thank again for the opportunity to share the idea uh, and talk a little bit about MatchSpace to you and uh, the community, Sunshine community. Um, so it, it, it all started really with, um, with uh, my own idea and, and purpose to um, actually pick up cello lessons. I played piano for, for about 12 years. Uh, and then as, as many students, as many teenagers uh, eventually lost interest, I couldn't fit um, piano lessons into my uh, schedule anymore or curriculum or extracurriculum activities. And, you know, fast forward 20 years later, um, I really felt um, a strong desire to, again, include music into, again, a busy lifestyle. Um, I was looking for cello lessons. I couldn't find any teacher that would be available at, um, at times and day I was looking for. And, and that really gave birth to the idea that it should just be so much easier to find a, a talented cello uh, a teacher out there. I know there's so many talented musicians out there, but it's really hard to find them because there are traditional formats. You, you can't really see who's available at what time. And also, um, I find um, the music um, learning path is a very individual learning path that uh, is not a one size fits all approach. So that in a nutshell was um, how the idea was born. And then through many more discussions with both teachers and students, um, basically um, gave affirmations uh, and confirmation that there is really a need for um, a platform that brings more transparency both on the teacher side as well as makes it easy for students to um, pick up uh, instrument lessons. Yes, indeed. And that is definitely a, a need in this country I found for myself also. Judging by the cello behind you, you found your teacher? I eventually found a teacher. Yes, that's correct, Greg. So two years later, um, eventually, you know, through uh, the Matchspace platform, I found a very young, talented uh, teacher called Anna. Uh, she's based in Winterthur. I uh, take lessons with her every other Thursday at one o'clock in the afternoon through Life Online. So it also helps me to kind of fit it in, um, you know, when it makes best sense uh, for me. And, and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Great. Perfect. So can you maybe explain quickly how MatchSpace works, the, right. the platform in the, in the form of the teachers and the students? So from a teacher's perspective, it's really uh, quite straightforward. You uh, sign up with the platform, you create your profile, you create your course or courses. Um, you're not limited to one course. You can 
uh, create one course specific tailored towards the needs of, of, of kids or teenagers or adults, beginners, more talented people. You can create specific courses that are um, tailored to a certain genre. Um, then you set your availability, which also speaks to most of the teacher's needs, which is how can I accommodate or fit my lesson plan into my schedule that um, may not be a full-time teacher job. It may uh, consist of multiple employments at different music schools, or it would, you know, can also uh, consist of just part-time teaching next to being a professional, same professional musician that also engages in, in gigs and other, other commitments. So you set your availability when uh, you want to teach, you define where you want to teach at, for uh, home visits to your own studio or through live online. And then you enter a payment uh, system and that basically um, completes the process from a teacher's perspective. Um, we then um, assess and verify every individual profile. We, we make sure um, that um, all teachers are well qualified um, to teach on a platform. We have a professional music teacher uh, from the Musica Academy in Basel, uh, who's a violin teacher himself, who um, diligently goes through all the profiles and, and, and makes sure the, uh, the profile is authentic and all the credentials are authentic before eventually publish a um, teacher profile on our platform. So that's okay. it. So all it takes from a teacher's perspective um, is, is maybe 30 minutes of their time to really set up their profiling course. Um, and as a result, they have a very professional looking website with the profile information, with the course information, um, the student can then automatically see which teacher is available at what time and can instantly book um, the number of preferred lessons through the platform. And from a student perspective, it's, it's what, what um, you would expect from any well-built platform these days is you can basically find your teacher that is available at any given time and you can, you can uh, book a free trial lesson, you can book um, five, ten lessons at once, however many lessons you want to buy, you can instantly book them through the platform. Um, and then after the platform, we, we ask the user for feedback and we ask the teacher for feedback. So that also supports the teach, uh, the student's uh, learning path uh, through, through feedback and homework. Great. And then for every budget, you can find a teacher then. Which that's, is that's, that's right. Studies, you know, studies show that um, most, more than 60% of teenagers stop taking lessons latest at age 17. And that is mainly due to the fact that many traditional formats are not flexible enough or not engaging enough. And for some music lessons are not affordable, um, latest when their parents start paying for the music <laughs> lesson. Uh, so we are of the firm belief that uh, we wanna make access to music, uh, to learning an instrument uh, easier. Um, that doesn't mean that our lessons are cheaper um, than other platforms. We basically follow the same pricing recommendations from the Swiss um, pedagog for the SMP file, the Swiss Music Pedagogic um, uh, Association. Um, but we offer also a platform to teach, not just for teachers with a diploma, but also for talented, you know, for music talents that may, you know, be in their final studies um, uh, of a music academy. So they are about to complete their um, master studies or they are autodidactical talents that are also well qualified in terms of teaching, um, have a passion for music and, 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 and uh, creating a great learning experience, but they may not have the, uh, the formal education. So we believe also for, for those individuals, we want to allow them or enable them to take, uh, turn their passion into their profession. So we have different categories of teachers, um, um, teachers with a, a, a teaching diploma. We have talented uh, musicians and um, students um, that uh, offer at a lower rate, and we have uh, professional musicians um, that are um, that are also very well welcome to teach in our platform. So we have different teacher categories, and we very well adhere to the uh, Swiss Music uh, Pedagogic Association uh, when it comes to prize recommendations. Yeah, <clears throat> when I was on your website, the word passion definitely caught my attention, and uh, I myself am not trained, I'm not educated in, in the direction of uh, music school, definitely not a Swiss music school, but um, to be able to teach your passion was definitely uh, what piqued my interest with MatchSpace. And yeah, since the COVID has hit, naturally um, many of the members within the Sun Jam, they've, uh, they've naturally had a reduction of shows, concerts, 
many musicians have a contract with the venue. All the venues are closed, so the termination of these contracts has happened. Uh, many of them have gone to side, side hustles and jobs, uh, which also was in restaurant industry, again, terminated. And there just seems to be a general insecurity of the future of the industry at the moment, and um, also the costs entailed to make a website to uh, create. So luckily, you can, for free, on some of the social media pl platforms, create a page. But there is quite some costs, as I know from myself, keeping the Sun Jam up and running, uh, to create a, a good looking website to attract students. So I, from what I'm hearing, I, it sounds like MatchSpace could definitely help some of the Sun Jam members with some of these tra challenges that they're facing at the moment. Absolutely. So one way we, we, can, we can help is um, picking up your concern about the cost is it, it doesn't cost a Sun Jam musician um, community member to sign up with MatchSpace. So it's basically free of charge to create your profile, to create a course. It's a very professional looking profile and course page that you get, uh, which literally just takes 30 minutes of your um, time. Um, there's no other costs involved. Um, so that's one way we can help. Um, the other way we help is we actively promote our teachers and, and classes. So we actually um, spend quite a substantial amount on, on advertising those uh, uh, lessons and courses. So that's another way we can help to basically um, get them students uh, and bookings through our platform. And the third way uh, we try to help is, I mean, we always understand this is a challenging situation for everyone involved. So we, we can't unfortunately um, undo the situation, um, which understandably is very challenging. What we can do uh, in addition to help is we're also partnering with other um, um, basically platforms in the music domain. And um, there are musicians booking platforms out there where we are, um, uh, where we are partnering. Um, that will also help uh, or can help um, also Sun Jam musicians to basically get booked uh, once um, concerts can take uh, place again or, or any, any gigs at a corporate event, wedding party or birthday party are allowed to take place again. Then at least uh, there's some help how to advertise the profile. And, and last but not least, um, since this teacher defines uh, him or herself when and uh, how many lessons he or she wants to teach, we're completely flexible to accommodate any situation. So uh, we're not um, asking them to sign up with any fixed uh, stint. Um, so even if they have certain commitments with other music schools, uh, be public or private, they're free to basically sign on and teach any incremental lesson through MedSpace, maybe to compensate for gigs that are, a are currently not able, able to do so. In a nutshell, we're, we're trying to help out with offering a platform that doesn't cost them to advertise the lesson. We're helping them to um, advertise the lesson so that they so that they get bookings, and uh, it's flexible enough um, so that they really can fill up their schedule to also accommodate other commitments um, with other music schools or with other uh, personal uh, or professional commitments. Okay. Yeah. I'm definitely a strong believer in the collaboration. So it's nice to hear you guys are collaborating with other platforms because that is when COVID is behind us, that is a consistent uh, challenge is trying to get yourself booked as a musician. So if, if the next platform can surface offering that as well, along with uh, being able to teach and students being able to find teachers, then um, it's definitely all in the right direction, absolutely. So my next question was, um, what are the requirements and qualifications? So you've already touched on that. So that would be then, a, I guess, I assume a Zoom meeting with this teacher from Basel, um, or would that be a direct one-on-one -on -one meeting? Or how, how do you vet who is able to create the profile and who is at what level as a teacher? I guess right. would be the main. So, so maybe to start one step early, what we look for is, first of all, passion, um, I think, um, to, to really, um, you know, um, facilitate a, an engaging and, and a fun music lesson, there, you know, it ha has to has to come with passion, passion for music, passion for educating or teaching students to um, develop their talent. So that's uh, first and foremost, um, and then of course qualification talent. As I mentioned, qualification just not only means a formal degree of a pedagogical education, but can also be 
a talent, uh, an autodidact uh, talent. So it depends on which teacher category you fall into, um, how we vet then the teacher against those qualifications. And the third element is connection. Um, you know, I know too many students that basically they, they lost their interest um, in music just because they lost connection with their teacher. Uh, so what we look for as qualities is, is that passion, qualification or expertise in the domain and connection with the students. So really to allow for a highly engaging and, 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 and fun as well um, learning experience. And, when it, and as for the vetting process, I mean, we, we, we individually check every single profile, we check for their qualifications. For anyone that would not be able to provide a formal degree of, of education uh, as a proof of, of their qualification, we will ask um, in, in a personal interview for, for also um, 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 uh, basically uh, um, some, some work examples or um, uh, teaching examples, demonstrations. So we can yeah. ensure um, that qualification there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So then, there, as a teacher, there is no cost, which you said. Uh, but then I, I assume that Match Space will then take a small percentage from the cost of the lesson to use. That is platform. absolutely correct. So we we take a commission at sixteen point five percent of the lesson booked. Um, so that means we only get paid if we do our job and and basically acquire students for uh, the teacher. Um, 16.5% 16, 16 that's uh, the lowest fee in the industry um, and it helps us to kind of um, you know finance all our expenses which go into advertising the lessons which go, go into running an entire platform providing customer support to teachers and students um, and then also protecting our teachers against uh, no-shows or short-term uh, cancellations. Okay. Can you touch quickly where will where will uh, Sanjay members see the advertising so they can keep their eye open? Is it on Facebook or Instagram or um, when they're searching through in Google? Is it the Google Ads or where are you guys focusing right now? So currently, um, it's also you know uh, pretty much determined by what we can or what it makes to do in times of pandemic, um, of uh, which is dominantly digital. So we are quite present on on Google. So when 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 students um, look for music lessons, they will find a match space. We're also quite present on the social channels, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we're present in the music, music Zeitschrift, so the music um, journal um, that, that uh, releases their paper every, um, um, every month. Uh, so we do what we, what we can in, in these times. Uh, obviously there are other uh, channels we are intent to uh, you know, you know, talk about match space um, that depends a bit on, on, on the current situation, but we, we, we're quite dominant or are present in the digital channels. And as soon as we're allowed to be present again on other relevant touch points, we'll, we'll certainly do that as well. Okay. I personally have started noticing match space videos popping up in Facebook on my channel. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you like them? Yeah, they're great. They're great. They're okay. very well done. Well produced. Yeah. yeah very yeah, thank you. I'll pass on the uh, credits yeah, to uh, to Ollie yeah, and 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 uh, indeed yeah, and the team. Yeah, I've noticed uh, since Corona, I have noticed a few other platforms, music online teaching platforms, popping up. Is there something specific you could say that differs between MatchSpace and some of these other platforms? Yeah, um, I would say in a nutshell, where what's where MatchSpace stands out is for the teachers. Um, that it provides full flexibility or maximum flexibility in terms of teaching on, on the teacher's terms. Again, defining where they want to teach, when, how often, uh, that's up to the teacher to define. And, um, and um, the other um, uh, way we can make, we make a difference is through our partnership, uh, through ecosystem and partnerships we're, we're building up to create strong network effects. Definitely. And then for the teachers, uh, for the student side, um, it's it's maximum choice and flexibility. There's no other platform we can instantly see when which teacher is available. You can instantly book them through the platform. And not, um, which I find as a, as a parent myself quite quite important. It's difficult to determine for a five or seven or even ten year old whether they're going to stick to one certain instrument throughout the entire semester. So rather than you know um, expecting. <laughs> Um, your child to you know to stick to one instrument throughout the semester, you may you know you may want to give 
give him or her the option to maybe do first five lessons or 10 lessons with one instrument. And if it's really not up her or his alley, then you have the option to, 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 to check out a, a different instrument or teach because it's, uh, instrument is one thing where, where you need to connect with. The other uh, connection that's very important is with the teacher. And one teacher may be great for one person, may be less great for, for another individual that has different, different uh, learning style or learning preferences. Um, so also there we can provide basically peace of mind because you're not confined um, to uh, one teacher throughout the entire semester. You can really find the best match for your child, for yourself, and then book as many lessons as you, as you please. Yeah, I think anyone who's uh, had to make the semester commitment to a lesson can appreciate that. So yeah. <laughs> we've also uh, we've also experienced that ourselves, indeed. Um, yeah, no, that sounds. Um, so I, I was, I'm curious if you faced any concerns over uh, possibly taking away business from some of the other music schools. Do you have any any thoughts on that, or have you faced that issue since MapSpace has uh, has been launched? Um, we certainly feel that um, you know there's uh, we we are being watched, and uh, I also understand that introducing new platform, in particular when you're offering more choice and flexibility, does um, you know can raise concerns. So we take away business uh, of any music schools. Mm -hmm. However, we are of the firm belief that um, there are more individuals, parents, adults, students that will love to pick a, an instrument, but they currently. Um, don't find it easy enough to, to pick it up due to the limitations I mentioned before of traditional format. So we don't believe that we're taking away uh, any business from, from a, you know, established and traditional formats. Um, we actually are of the firm belief that we can make it, we can make music um, education more accessible to adults, teenagers, students by providing it, um, basically providing more flexibility to accommodate individual needs and schedule. And also on the teacher side, um, I mean, there are, you know, most, most schools can only offer maybe 50 or 20% stint for a teacher. It doesn't help a teacher to meet months and, um, you know, um, so, so they are forced to, to basically hire or, or, or engage with multiple gigs anyway. So um, we, you know, and, and our current teachers we have over 110 uh, teachers sign up with the platform. Um, we're not asking them to exclusively sign up with MatchSpace. MatchSpace can be the place where they just teach um, full-time or it can just be helping them with uh, filling up the schedule of additional lessons if uh, current employment uh, or, or engagements um, do not, um, you know, to basically not fully uh, engage them. Yep. And uh, I mentioned before, studies show that uh, mo more than 60% of teenagers stop taking lessons at the age of 17. So just by re-engaging them through a more accessible format, a more individual format, that works better with their schedule, um, uh, basically brings people, teenagers back and also adults back into the music education system that otherwise would be lost. Yeah, very true. And I think uh, the corona situation has definitely created, I don't know what the number would be, but I can imagine another 20, 30% more students looking uh, just within my network. Many people have now discovered the, the need or the, the interest of an instrument, which they've never had before. So this Absolutely. isolation, uh, or they had a guitar at home, which they never touched. And then, then so I think the Corona really brought back um, the interest in music, which is a perfect timing for your platform and um, to be able to virtually connect to somebody. Yeah, um, absolutely. If I may add to that, Greg, I recently had the opportunity to speak with someone from a re very renowned uh, guitar brand in the, in the States, uh, where they shared with me that their guitar sales went through the roof. So there's more people that now own a guitar than a year or two or even 20 years ago. Yeah. People have more time because they need to, they have, you know, they spend less time commuting so they yeah. can have more time at their hand to pick up an instrument. Mm -hmm. At the same time, um, you know, a study shows that, that most people who pick up a guitar stop basically playing uh, 90 days in. Yeah. You know, they may use an app, they may check out some YouTube videos, 
um, yeah. which obviously are not as engaging as having a teacher that helps you a lot, you know, basically helps you, you know, along this, that, uh, your individual learning path. So that's why um, I really believe, um, or we are, you know, we really want to focus on this life in direction um, teaching method, not an application where you play some chords. Um, we really believe in feedback. We believe in, 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 in direct communication. Um, but we also uh, believe that um, it's not one size fits all format. For some people, uh, parents, they prefer home visits, other uh, prefer life online where they can spare their time um, basically driving to a place. So that's where we believe uh, we can really make a difference and may, again, make it more accessible to a wider audience that currently find it hard to, um, to get started. Yeah, definitely. And I think virtual lessons back in the day was not really comprehensible. It, it, to, to the energy exchange is very interesting through a computer. Um, but I think over the last year, we've become very accustomed to virtual exchange now, where two years ago, I don't think uh, many people, they would prefer to travel the hour or half an hour to come to a teacher, to come to a school. Um, so I think we've been well, well conditioned to, to uh, be able to find a way to exchange through a computer. And I know a lot of uh, a lot of people, musician um, or sun jam sun jammers, have done online concerts, which was yeah. the first time very tricky because you don't know if people well, are listening. You can't get the you can't get the feedback from the crowd, and with multiple times, then it becomes more normal, so to speak. Yeah, so and and that Greg practice. also um, that also opens up the opportunity to basically find your best match that does not necessarily need to be confined to your um, zip code. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, like in my case, I now have a cello teacher based in Winterthur. I would never drive to Winterthur for a cello lesson, nor would she be able to afford to drive to Zurich just to teach me 45 minutes of a cello lesson. Right, exactly. But life online, she's able to teach me and I'm able yeah. to learn and grow as a student. So. Um, the, the, the geographical limitations are not there anymore, um, which also opens up uh, new opportunities for both teachers and students. Makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. The zip code limitation, that's an important one. Also, you're not searching only in Zurich or Vintetour. You, you really have the entire country to pick from. So, yeah. Great. I mean, just yeah, one, one additional anecdote to share with you, Greg. We, we, ha we have one young, uh, talented piano teacher from the Zetarika. Uh, he, um, for personal reasons, had to travel back to South Korea for family matters, and yep. uh, due to the pandemic situation, he was not able to travel back it, back to Switzerland. Okay. Uh, okay. But he was already teaching students um, while he was based in Zurich. So okay. he's now based in South Korea, so he can still continue to teach their students sure. in Zurich, thanks yeah. to MedSpace, which um, which I find is a beautiful story because you yeah, you, wow. you can also, you know, you can basically engage or find your, you know you can make connections um, despite any boundary conditions or, or border, uh, any, any borders or even time zone, uh, time zone limitations. Yeah, excellent. Well, sounds great. So it sounds like you, you guys are really onto a wonderful idea, wonderful platform. So congratulations first off on the idea and uh, wish you great success. To me, it, it reminds me of like the Airbnb for musicians and music. Because uh, when I have gone on Map Space and I, I the, the profiles are beautiful, the way it's laid out, and you have pictures, you have you know all, all the information you need, but it's 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 not just text. There's lots of uh, symbols and icons, and it's really catchy to the eye. The the profiles. So um, I just I, I couldn't help but thinking Airbnb when I was on there. Um, Thank you. Um, I like that comparison much better than a comparison to Tinder. Which oh, yeah. uh, we were compared to um, in another interview uh, some time back. Um, uh, the interview asked me, "Is, is Matchbase like Tinder for music?" And I was like, "Yeah, you could you could probably look at this, but um, we we oh, hope yeah. Matchbase is not as transactional as Tinder. It's more sustainable long term. So yes. um, so I prefer the comparison to Airbnb. Yeah. Oh, you could use that that comparison." You have my permission for sure. For me. <laughs> but it's the swipe left or swipe right options on there. So that's a good sign. No, I think with us, you can swipe, you can browse courses from, from a teacher um, from the right to the left side. Okay. But you, okay. cannot knock, you cannot delete, you cannot basically, um, you know, discard them. You're, you can only positively opt in. You cannot 
deselect someone <laughs> or block or reject or however it works yeah <laughs> yeah no it sounds wonderful and i am also a true firm believer of the human connection and um and i've witnessed the power of connection especially through music i, I really have through the sun jam i've witnessed the the power that's brought to zerk and um the relationships that have been built the bands the you know sometimes even couples and marriages and, and friendships and it's all done through music and I, I, I see that it's a beautiful thing to use music to connect people and many many do say that this is a country sometimes hard to connect to people so yeah. great to see other platforms doing the same thing and I think you guys are really on to a wonderful idea the timing is right unfortunately the timing is right and um, I, I many believe that this will somehow be uh, the future of a lot of communication is going to be virtual, a lot of home office, a lot of that will be here to stay. So it's great that uh, people are not now because uh, of social distancing. Also, they're not um, they're not blocked in any form to to not be able to learn music. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. It's it's really uh, an impressive thing you guys have built. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. It yeah, and I see, uh, yeah, Sunjam and MapSpace, we're both always striving to bring value to our communities and, you know, combining networks, like you said, it's all, uh, important for both of us. So we have been discussing this for quite some time now, and we're officially doing a, a mutual endorsement of each other's platform. So that's to be announced here on episode one of Tsugabe. So uh, I look forward to working with you guys in the future, and uh, it will be very exciting to see where everything goes for, for both platforms. And um, what, for any Sun Jammers, whether they're interested in teaching or being a student, what would be the next step for them? Right, so um, the next step is, um, it, it's pretty straightforward. If you like uh, what you've heard, if you like the idea of MatchSpace and what we're trying to, um, to achieve, um, you, can, you can go to matchspace.com or app.matchspace.com. I think we'll, we'll be posting a link in, in this video below. Uh, or somewhere um, um, around this video and uh, you, you can click on it, you can sign up uh, on it, uh, um, create a profile, create a course, set your availability and your payment uh, information and then someone from our team will be in touch to, um, to basically um, on, you know, support you if you have any questions but also to verify your profile and uh, that's, that's basically uh, all, all there is. It um, for bring you know, 30 minutes of your time to really uh, think about how you want to set up your course. But again, you will see a lot of um, onboarding support uh, from, from our team to, to you know, maybe help you, uh, help you out how you can formulate your course uh, the best way that it best resonates with the audience and so forth. So really here um, to help along the way. But in a nutshell, uh, click on the link, um, create a profile, your course, the ability, and enter payment information. Of, of you know. Great, and share your passion. <laughs> and share your Perfect. passion. That's that's the most important thing, and I think that also kind of brings us back uh, to where we started, Greg, uh, when we first spoke and uh, realized that we really share shared a passion for music, shared a uh, passion for bringing people together. Um, bring, bring, uh, make it more accessible, um, particularly in this this world. Uh, I've also uh, lived in, in your uh, home country, Greg. So, I yeah. uh, I, I certainly appreciate uh, the Canadian uh, hospitality. And mm -hmm. if we together can make a difference to bring more music into people's life uh, in Switzerland, that uh, would, would mean a lot to us. Would mean a lot to me. Uh, and I can just share from my personal experience. I think I've not done, not now done uh, five cello lessons. Um, okay. It's a long road ahead, but yeah. I can say after just a few lessons, I can already uh, play a few kids song on my cello um, oh, you need, you and my, my kids love it, you know, um, so it's not there where I want to be with my ambition, but um, just to be able to play a few kids song to my kids on a Sunday noon after picking up uh, five lessons is, is, is quite yeah. fulfilling and uh, yeah. rewarding as well. Yeah, wonderful. Great. Yeah, thank you. Um, I have noticed also, so one side is the teachers from the Sun Jam, and the other side is the, at least 50% of the people uh, that attend the Sun Jam in summer, um, they are either, they always say, I'm not good enough to be a part of the Sun Jam, so they sit in the back edges of the crowd, or they uh, have never learned an instrument. So I hope some of you are watching this, and some of the 
potential students watching this right now to you know look into match space check it out and find try to find a teacher and try to try out a few lessons because it's uh, it's a great opportunity to further your playing pick an instrument find an instrument further your playing on your instrument um yeah so i hope that this this summer the sun jam will have more players because of match space would be a beautiful goal for us also as our community grows we can uh we were trying to spread music not only to the ears but to the fingers and to the hands and to the feet that people are to able to play into the heart right yeah. but people are able to experience the beauty of music which is the other side of music not just yeah. listening is one thing but playing and and experiencing from the heart music is another thing so that for me would be a a beautiful goal achieved if more we can find make more players together yeah. so beautiful um, and, and, yeah <laughs> thank you and for those who are we've had a lot of a lot of new members come in in the last uh, two three months essentially since uh, corona so for those of you new and uh, watching this for the first time the sun jam is one time per month on a sunny sunday we meet at zurichse at the lake of zurich it's a free event and we meet from three o'clock till 10 o'clock. So uh, if you're new to everything here, then check out sunjam.org or the Facebook group, Zerk Sunjam. And the events are organized through Facebook and through the mailing list and all the links to everything is on the website, sunjam.org. And again, your website, Patrick? Our website is matchspace.com. And yes matchspace.com we'll leave a link uh, in the video below and we'll also happily share any events from the uh, sun jam community as okay. we know that our teachers as well as the students they are you know, very passion driven um, and i'm sure they would also love to engage in in the sun jam events that uh, hopefully uh, will take place again uh, sometime soon uh, this yes. fingers crossed or as fingers they do crossed. here <laughs> yeah uh, All right, great. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for your time. Again, Patrick Kohler, Match Space, check it out. Um, wonderful platform, and I uh, appreciate your time. And yes, I look forward to the future of working together in the future and where everything takes us. So until then, take care of yourself, and we will be in touch. Thank you so much, Greg. Thank, thank you to the Sunshine community, and we're looking forward to uh, doing wonderful things together. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Just a warning, but we are sent across the nation. A warning, cast away your frustration. A warning, life is.